shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Jack, move over. Hey guys, we got a pretty good Halloween special for you here. Materialistic TV is gonna be reading you guys some creepy pasta. So let's get into the first story. Okay guys, we're reading the operation. Let's get into it. On the farthest point of Long Island, the last scrap of land that still counts as New York, there sits a tremendous abandoned building. Protected by its own isolated location, there is also at any given time two or three security guards. However, if one approaches the cast iron gates on the night of December 4th, you will see that on this night, even those few security guards refuse to work. The gates are left unlocked and the wind will be utterly still. A nearly opaque fog filling the peninsula. Go directly to the main doors and step within. There will be a single long hallway and at the end oculated by the fog. If you look to either side of the hallway upon entering, you will see a modern operating room through a glass door. The further in that you walk, the older equipment will get and the more old fashioned the doctors will be dressed. When you can finally come upon the end of the hallway, the screams of the patients will be nearly deafening. The hallway will terminate in an open door, leading to a single wooden table where a man in a woolen medical clothing, stained brown from blood, will be bent over a corpse. The body's face will be covered and the man will turn silently, screwing the top onto a cloudy jar of liquid filled to the brim. He will hand you this abnormally heavy object before turning back to his work. Instantly, you will be outside to those cast iron gates. From the point on, the disease and injury will never affect you. If you ever open the cloudy jar and pull out the contents, you will find a heart pulsing and beating loudly in your palm. And suddenly, the feeling of horror and revel revelation will pass through you as realization strikes that you have pulled your own heart from your beating chest. Hello there, I'm Jack and I'm going to be reading my Amazon Alexa does more than just laugh. Uh, two nights ago I was home alone when Alexa laughed. I read about software issues the device has been having all over the world, so it wasn't that big of a shock. Thank God for that too, because I was... I would have jumped out of my skin otherwise. I still ha was unsettled. It's creepy to hear laughter when you're home alone. Alexa, I sh Alexa, shut up, I instructed. The blue ring on the top flashed, and the laughing stopped. I went back to my book. Twenty minutes later, out of the corner of my eye, I, I saw Alexa's bling blue ring illuminate as if she'd received a command. I studied, her for, I studied her for a few seconds, and then shrugged it off. Thirty seconds later, her light came on again. This time she said, Okay, Peter. J.A. Hen Colson, five-piece stainless steel knife set is on its way. You should have it in a couple of days. Oh, come on, I complained. I put my book down and grabbed my laptop. I navigated Amazon and check out, checked out my order page. It was empty. I checked my device information in the Alexa. Wondering if my Alexa had paired to someone else's account. It hadn't. Great, I thought. Free knives. Thanks, Pete, wherever you are. I went back to my reading. It probably wasn't the best subject matter to be sh consuming when I was a little chicken. Far too many mushrooms and people peeling up their skin. Gross. As I reached the end of my chapter, Alexa laughed again. It sounded different than the first time. The first time, it was mechanical and emotionless, just like her voice. This time, it was lower, deeper, as if it had breath in it. My name is Joseph Stalin, and I'll be reading for dinner. It's late in the afternoon, and you decide that you want to invite your friend over for dinner to celebrate your new apartment. The apartment itself was pretty, a simple place nonetheless, but elegant in a simple way. But with the look of the place, it had nothing to do with what was actually going on inside. Boxes had been knocked over right after you put the books on the newly refurbished shelves. They seem to appear right back in the box from whence they first came. These little happenings have occurred throughout the week that you've lived in, but no matter. You've learned to ignore it. Meanwhile, you've set a table in preparation for your guest. And once she finally rings the doorbell, you let her in and greet her with a smile. 
she sits down and you begin eating your home-cooked meal of roast beef, mashed potatoes and green beans with iced tea while suddenly you catch a glitch of a dark shape moving in the mirror that sits on the far wall of the kitchen you ignore it as you ignore everything else. A few minutes into the meal, your friend looks at it, opens her mouth as if she wished to say something, but then her face twists into a horrified expression as she lets out a scream of pure terror. Your eyes widen. It seems as if she's looking right at you, and you wonder if something's wrong with your appearance. You reach out to feel your face and are relieved to find that everything's normal, or as it should be anyway. Your friend's expression continues to warp until you finally decide to look behind you. And then, not an inch away from your face, a wide, reeking, sharp tooth grin sits below the noseless hole with a piercing black eye socket as blood drips from every crevice in the creature's face. Oddly, you don't scream. You can't. Panic has gripped you, and the being leans in, and your eyes snap open as you let out a yell. You wildly take in your surroundings. Your apartment boxes are around you. You fall asleep while preparing a meal, and you hand the door You answer it. And it's your friend. She smiles and walks in, and you both sit down and eat a nice home cooked meal of roast beef, mashed potatoes, and green beans with iced tea. And she looks up and opens her mouth as if to say something, and then her face twists into a horrified expression. She lets out a scream. Okay, guys, from Materialistic Studios, we, got, we wish you a happy and safe Halloween. Yeah. Thanks guys for watching that video. Right here is my previous video. Here is that subscribe button. Make sure you hit it and ring that bell. Right here is my Patreon. Go support me. And right here is my Instagram. Go follow me.